Good morning folks, so here we go with the Rock and Rona. We've had to postpone this because of the weather lately. It rains every day and as you know, we need bright hot sunlight to uh, dry out the seats after they've been washed. So my bro here is gonna be taking off the seats and uh, we'll see what can be done because this is uh, only the second time that Kenzone is actually doing an interior, a full interior cleaning. And uh, depending on the level and severity of the cleaning that's needed and also of course the size of the car and how many seats Don't forget there are MPVs out there with three rows of seats So yeah, depending on that, that's what the cost will depend on So for mine, something like this, it's about 200 ringgit Just two front seats and the back seats including the backrest And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do So stay tuned for the results and uh, But before that, I will show you how the cleaning will be done. So that's the first seat that's already come out. And uh, while the seats are out, they're gonna vacuum the interior as well because there are areas under the seats that, you know, have probably never been vacuumed in its whole life. But uh, yeah, one thing very important is to actually keep the uh, all the screws and uh, don't lose anything because that's one of the dangers of actually removing stuff from the inside of your car. You might actually get uh, stuff lost and then of course replacing them is going to be a bit of a hassle but uh, so here we go just between us and this this uh, workshop this is my VIP parking spot <laughs> right stay tuned right so all the seats are out there we go that in itself I think weighs about 200 kilos very heavy seats so we're gonna vacuum out the whole interior. Nice to see that the fuel pump looks quite new. Hasn't been removed, but yeah. We didn't find any money though, sadly. Normally I find money in the, once you remove the back seats, but nope, it was clean. Moneyless. But yeah, get rid of all the debris. So yes, it's very labor intensive. It takes a lot of time. Uh, that's why I said you need to make an appointment first if you want to get this done for your car because obviously once they've removed all your seats, you're not going to be able to uh, drive out. You're going to have to leave the car here. And then not only that, but once they've washed the seats, they're going to have to dry it out too. So that's going to take a while. So all in, if the weather is favorable, you're still looking at a minimum of three days to get this all done. And that's why you need to make an appointment because it's not about them being able to do it. Of course they can do it. It's just a matter of whether they can store your car inside because there's no way they're gonna park it outside. They're definitely gonna park it inside. And uh, yeah, so that's why you need to make an appointment. But I think it's gonna be worth it for 200 bucks. No, no, they're not going to remove the door cards to clean them. That can be actually cleaned while still on the door. It's just the seats that you need to remove. And just a quick update on the Alfetta. While I was here, I decided to get the gearbox oil changed. And now I'm just showing you the engine. Um, not telling you about the gearbox here because the gearbox of this car is at the back. Yeah, so while I was here, I'm deciding to get the uh, gearbox oil swapped out and add a bit of that uh, X1R gearbox oil treatment as you can see over there for manual transmissions but uh, when they drained the gearbox oil just now it didn't look too bad but uh, yeah never hurts to change the gearbox oil especially if you're gonna add treatment yeah there you go cool so hopefully that will eliminate some of the crunching that I'm getting through the gears but you know what I think it's more dire than that I think it's actually the synchro meshes out, but uh, there we go. And uh, while they were down there just now, I asked them to check out my drive shaft, and sure enough, I was feeling something was not right. And sure enough, my drive shaft coupling, also known as the donut, it's on its way to Italian heaven. So we're gonna have to order another one of those. Yeah, I could hear a clanking when the gears change or when I apply uh, acceleration after lifting off. There was a bit of a clanking going on uh, down in the middle of the car. Of course, this guy is rear-wheel drive, so yes, the uh, coupling has uh, decided to die on me. But hey, this is just one of those things, it's wear and tear. And there's the new gearbox oil over there, that's going to go into the uh, gearbox. 
at the back and she'll be fine i mean she, she's 41 years old and she's italian and she's still running yeah that has got to account for something yeah it's just amazing car to drive still after four decades so here we go first with this super special secret sabun that's in its own container yeah that that might actually be total wear and tear we don't know we'll see how how well this can be cleaned off it's not a shadow it's scary and my head's been resting on that but this is the stain here that i really want to get rid of which is kind of scary This is also why you need a few days to actually dry out the car. Sorry, the seats. Because it's gonna go right into. Oh my goodness. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Oh yo. Spray again. See the dirt. Oh, stop, stop. Oh yo. Okay, spray again. Oh, hello, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a definite must. Yes, the back end of the seat will be done as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting splashed. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Look at that. Yeah. That is... Nasty! Look at the water! And the, that coming off there. That's already starting to look cleaner. Yeah. Just from the just from the water. Oh man! And I was sitting on this! <laughs> Wait up. Uh. Hashtag oddly satisfying. This is very, very oddly satisfying. Look at that. And that's just the one part of the seat. Wow. Bro, you got your work cut out for you, man. So, judging by the bolts and nuts that were on the car, on the, on the seat fit, fitted to the car, I don't think these seats have ever been taken off. And, uh,. Yeah, since 1989, I think these are the, this is the first time these seats are getting washed this way. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the first time these seats are getting washed this way. The muck is ridiculous. That's just from water. And now we'll get some... Uh, some of that uh, super duper soap. Don't, don't scrub too hard, yeah, bro? Because yeah. there are certain parts that might be, the, the fabric yeah. might be thin. So it's like a, this is like a pet getting a wash. <laughs> oh, good God, look at that. Yeah, just lightly, lightly scrub, not too hard. Because you don't want to, you don't want to damage the fabric. Soft one. Okay, good. Good. These these parts will be uh, particularly, especially over there. Yeah, be careful. Oh, look at that! Look at all the gunk coming out. That's 31 years of gunk coming out of the car, coming out of the seats. Uh, that, that's, that's where that horrible stain was just now. So they're gonna have to scrub it maybe two or three times that one. So 
So Ken, you yep. sure you want to offer this service for my viewers? Ah? Yes. Sure, ah? Yeah. A lot of work. But I told them to make an appointment with you first. Yeah. Because it's a matter of space to put the car and stuff like that. Yeah. Because this is gonna take what three days? Three or four. Three, three or four days. Depending on the on the weather lah. Yeah. If it's bright and sunny like this, oh nice. It'll drive fast, but you know it's been raining lately, so oh the amount of dirt that's coming out. Yeah. So anybody who owns pets, how much would this cost if you took it to one of those pet grooming places for your dog or your cat to get it groomed? Think of it that way. You're taking your car to get it groomed on the inside. So you will do this about maybe twice, three yeah. times to get all the, all the dirt out. And that's just one seat. Four more to go over there. Yeah, that's the, the nasty stain there. This is the driver's seat, folks, by the way. This is where I was sitting just now, and you can already tell the top part is a lot nicer than just now. It was black there. And that's just the first wash. I think the driver's seat, more than any other seat, is going to need the most scrubbing. One more time with 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 conviction now for this uh, yeah go ahead bro add, I think add some more water add a bit more water and yeah the soap is still brownish that's how much dirt has accumulated in this driver's seat I think the driver's seat is gonna meet, need the most attention so it's good that we started with the driver's seat because the rest the rest seems quite okay the other seats seem okay, but we won't know till we actually hose it down. Get a good lather going. One more scrub and then out into the sun. And hopefully nobody steals my seat. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on it, okay? Yeah. Just get people to take it. Okay. Yep, not as brown as it was earlier. Much better. Getting there, getting there. Now, of course, one way we could have done this was to just go and buy a set of seat covers and cover it, but then you're just, you're just covering a, a very dirty seat. So it's better to get it washed. Getting into all the nooks and crannies of the seat there. already starting to look better. It's a light grey compared to the dark grey that it was just now. Going with the grain of the uh, fabric rather than against the grain. Don't want it to rip. So yeah, going, going with the grain. It's like when you shave your face, you never go against the grain. And it's the same here. Look at that. Rest is starting to look a lot better than it was just now. And yeah, so the fabric material is a light grey instead of a gunmetal grey that it was that uh, the dirt caused it to look. There we go. Oh yeah. I 
hope the GoPro is picking this up because the water coming off that is very dirty, brown. Nice. That stain is pretty much gone. I am so glad. Somebody was actually commenting that the interior looks, the seats look very comfortable and yes they are, they are very comfortable indeed and now they're going to be cleaned. So we're actually about 30 minutes in already just for one seat and uh, they just did the side, the side uh, bolsters, the headrest and now they're going to do this side as well. So like I said earlier, very labor intensive, takes a lot of time, but the results are going to be very, very worth it. Later we get the back part also. Huh? So much, much better. Now is the first round of drying. Uh, the problem is you cannot see stains until the uh, surface is actually a little bit look at how much water is coming out Until the surface is actually a little bit dry So we're gonna dry it out for the first time It will not be fully dry because there's definitely gonna be touch-ups to be done But obviously look at the headrest. It's much better now the back bolsters as well as the bottom part of the seat That stain is gone That horrible stain which I don't know what caused it is gone Thank you. Thank you. Look at all the water coming out. So yeah Got to keep an eye on the seat. I think I've got a chain that I'm going to chain to this uh, no entry sign here. And uh, just in case, because uh, as heavy as it is, I think it'll be worth quite a bit at the Bursi Burok place. So don't want it to get stolen, yeah? waiting for the surface of that seat to get dry I'm getting a 10 point service check done on my Alfetta because it was already serviced some time ago but yes full check they've done the tires now they're topping up the uh, engine oil they will check the uh, brake fluid level and various other stuff the clutch oil sorry the gearbox oil uh, not enough, so they've ordered more. <laughs> 